guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today I wanted to share with you something awesome that I found and it is a very, very, very comparable sleeping pad to the Thermarest Neo Air. two mats. You can see them next to each other. The Neo Air is clearly much more narrow and like fitted to your body which makes it a little bit lighter um, because it has less material obviously. So the Neo Air is wider up where your shoulders would be and then it kind of contours down more narrow to where your feet would be. This is the Nature Hike brand. It is sold on Amazon.com. So as you can see with this one, it is not contoured to your body. It looks more like a swimming floaty. It's very angular um, and thus it has more fabric which makes it a little heavier. Now I wanted to get into all the specs so that you know exactly what you're getting um, and how it is comparable to the Neo Air. Now I just blew them up for you which you saw it took me a minute and 43 seconds to blow up the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite and it took me a minute and 40 seconds to blow up the Nature Hike. So super comparable even though this one is bigger uh, the Neo Air x light is harder to blow up because the nozzle is much smaller and has more resistance. Um, the nozzle on the Nature Hike mat it is much bigger so you can get more air in it at once. From looking at the mats, they are pretty much the same height, um, about 3.3 inches, 3, 3 inches or so, the same thickness when you blow them up. Um, and then you can see the Nature Hike one has a little rise on it for like a pillow headrest. Now if you don't think that's going to be comfortable for you, if you are a flat sleeper, you don't want a pillow at all, um, just blow up the mat less and put it on your like where your feet would be and you won't even notice it. But for those of you who do like pillows, you won't have to bring an extra pillow backpacking. That's the beauty of this mat is that you don't need to carry anything extra and you have a built-in pillow, which is amazing. So let me lay on them for you. So this one is much more, the Neo Air is much more crinkly as you know. Um, probably heard from many people it sounds like a chip bag which is true and it's much more narrow you can see I'm not very wide I'm a pretty petite person and it is I mean I have maybe half an inch on each side of my hips so it is not it is not very wide at all so when I turn over when I'm sleeping you know there's I could easily fall off um, but it's plenty long, which is good. Um, so let's go ahead and lay on this guy. Again, super comfy. Here's the pillow. I like the pillow. It's nice. But as you can see, it's much wider. So I have maybe two and a half inches on each side of my hips, um, which is nice. You can rest your arms there. You're not going to slide off like I do on the Neo Air. Um, and it's also longer. So now let's get into the specs, which is what you guys want to hear. <laughs> so I wrote it down. The Neo Air is $159.95, so $160. So that's the Neo Air here, the Thermarest. And comparable, the Nature Hike um, right now is $59.88 on Amazon. So that is exactly a hundred dollars cheaper now you're thinking a hundred dollars cheaper what 
what's wrong with it? Like, why is it so cheap? The only negative difference between these two mats is that this one is a little bit heavier, and I'll explain that here in a second. The R value of the Thermarest Neo Air is 3.2. The R value of the Nature Hike is 3. So very, very, very comparable. So now let's get into the weight. The Neo Air with its stuff sack, right, has a stuff sack and it comes with a repair kit, which I like, is 12.7 ounces. Okay, so that's everything, the mat, the stuff sack, the repair kit. So the stuff sack weighs half an ounce. The repair kit weighs 0.3 ounces. So if you take those two away, it would be just the mat, 12 ounces, okay? So that's pretty, pretty lightweight. <laughs> Um, so even with these two things, um, it's still only 12.7 ounces. Now this one will never, the Nature Hike one will never be that light, even after you take everything out. So let me just show you what it comes with. It comes with its little stuff sack, right? Stuff sack is also 0.5 ounces, so half an ounce. And then it does come with this big bag. And you can see the bag has a little attachment to go into the air nozzle. So you would go like this, you make it tight, and then it has air, right? And then you basically just go like this and attach this to the mat, and you press it down, and all that air goes into the mat. Now, this is a time-consuming way to fill, to blow up your mat, honestly. I tried this and it took me about four times as long to blow it up because you have to do this like six times. So you gotta roll, unroll, unclip, and re-roll, and then squeeze it. It's so much easier just to blow it up. And like I said, it only takes about a minute and 40 seconds to blow this whole thing up. So. My advice is get rid of this bag, the stuff sack, the blow up bag, and the mat. All of it weighs 19.4 ounces. But if you're getting rid of this, which I totally would, this is pointless in my opinion, um, which I mean you could use this as a great stuff sack if you wanted to. It has the nice roll down and the clip. So, I mean, a stuff sack like this from Sea to Summit or something like that costs a lot of money. So, I mean, if you wanted to keep this as a stuff sack, that's totally awesome. But if you don't and you're just doing the mat thing, get rid of that. That gets rid of 3.4 ounces. The stuff sack, half an ounce. So, if you get rid of everything and you're just left with the mat, you're left with 15.5 ounces. So, that is... 3.5 ounces more than the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite in a size regular. If you are backpacking and you do not want to spend $160 on Neo Air X Lite, go with this. This is amazing. I blew this up. It stayed fully inflated for five days. Like I just deflated it for the video and blew it back up. But before that, I, I received it, I blew it up right out of the box. It stayed fully, perfectly inflated for five days. And that's pretty amazing. Like, I feel like the Neo Air is already deflating out here in the warmth, whereas this guy, not at all. Um, it is much sturdier material. You can just, by feeling it, it doesn't have, I mean, it has a little crinkle to it, but it doesn't have that like chip bag crinkle. It's it's super comfortable. Honestly, I laid on it and I was like, I don't want to take a nap. It's super, super comfy. I love it. I I am so recommending this for everybody. I think it will suit more people than the Neo Air because it is wider. Um, it can suit more people. Um, like I said, I barely, widthwise, fit on the Neo Air. 
any guy that's a little bit bigger than me, which I'm 5'5", five five, like, I'm pretty small, any guy bigger than me is gonna have issues on the Neo Air and they're gonna have to get a bigger size, which the larger Neo Airs are one pound. So that's more than this guy by half an ounce. So, and the large Neo Air is $200, $200. So, if you are any larger than me, you're gonna have to get a large. You're gonna spend way more money. You're not really gonna have a higher R value. I mean, 0 0.2, that's nothing. And yeah, you just spent $200. It's crinkly, it's super loud, and it's heavier. Why wouldn't you get this? And it has a built-in pillow. I'm so excited that I found this, like, so I can tell you guys, because everyone was talking about my Thermo Rest video, and I'm just like, don't watch that video, watch this, like, get this, this is amazing, like, I love it, I love, love, love it, and I so recommend this to everyone that is backpacking. Now, if you are a through hiker and you're really watching like every single ounce and that's really really important to you you may want to get something lighter weight like the Z light or something like that something that weighs virtually nothing um, but if you're wanting to sleep on a blow-up mat get this this nature hike it's like amazing it's so good unbeatable price like you can't beat the price get rid of this or use it as a stuff sack for something else like you, I mean this is huge you could use this as a food bag you could use this for your clothes I mean you're not gonna take that many clothes like this is a huge bag you could use this for anything um, and then you don't have to buy another stuff sack yeah and I, I can't even words can't even with how cool this is when i saw this i was like wait this is super super comparable to the neo air how do people not know about this this is amazing so i will stop raving <laughs> i feel like i'm a spokesperson for this mat but i think everyone should get this honestly it's why not like why wouldn't you get this the only thing is this doesn't come with a repair kit but you can get tape. You may actually be able to buy the Thermarest repair kit. So if you wanted to buy some of this for this, I'm sure it's the same sort of outside material, so it would probably work on this. Um, but like I said, this is a way more durable material than the Neo Air, which is, I think, why also it doesn't deflate as fast because it just traps the air. Guys, come on. You, I will link this below and you must like if you are looking for a mat get this immediately and it ships really fast it was here within five days so it ships really fast like i said it is 60 bucks um unbeatable unbeatable and if you just bought the neo air at rei return it return it save your money save your money you can get something else you can get a really fancy titanium pot or you can get I mean you will have saved a hundred dollars a hundred dollars guys I'm just like I can't this is I'm in awe of this mat so I will fold them up for you show them how they go in their respective bags One thing I will say is that the Neo Air definitely folds down smaller, as you can see. Um, it's it's much smaller than the Na Nature Hike one. Um, so if you have a limited pack space, that could be an issue. 
but this does have more fabric so it's understandable that it's a little bit bigger but um, yeah those are the two mats.